This video is to show how to use the fortress system that's currently on the scene. So when you first load up into the game, you'll be met with these two boards, which is just to show how it, the whole system works. But in this video, we're going to show how the fortress system works together. So we have this safety interlock that blocks access to the door, so we can't pass through the the manufacturing area which is on the other side of the fence so we got a safety interlock installed on the door here we got the electrical power unit over there we got a solenoid controlled key exchange directly in front of the door and we got the pneumatic power unit over here so to open the door we need to get this green key in so we can take the blue keys out and open the door so the green key is located in this solenoid controlled key exchange, which is currently trapped right now. To remove this, we need to put in the orange key from the pneumatic power unit and the red key from the electrical power unit. So let's start with taking the key from the electrical power unit. So right now it's in the off position, but that means you can take the key. But normally it will be on the on position. So levers up, light stack say screen. So there should be power on the manufacturing area. So if there's power in the manufacturing area, that means you can't take this key. So right now it doesn't turn green until you turn this off. Light, light stack says red. Now you can go over it. So when we take this key off, just place it down the table there. This lever can't be put up. So there's no way you can turn on the power until this key is present. So we take this key, we place it on this key exchange unit. Let go. And we just need the orange key. Take it from the pneumatic power unit, put it closer to it until you see the highlight. Let go. So right now you can you can't, still can't remove this green key. So this two key has to be present for this button to be pushed. So to remove the green key, you have to press this button first. This lights up. Now when we hover over the green key, it turns green, so mean that means it's grabbable. So we can take it. Now we can go to the door. So we just put it closer to this. There you go. Now it's there. Now these keys are grabbable. So the door can't be open yet. We take this key. Just place it down here for a bit. Now the door turns red, so that means it can be grabbed and operated. We just click, hold, actuator comes out. Now you can swing it. We just swing it open. And now you can take that key. You can go in inside the manufacturing area. So the purpose of it is, so since you're inside the manufacturing area with your own safety key, so this is called the safety key now, there's no way anyone can take, so if I just place it down a table, okay, it's on the floor. So there's no way this green key can go back to this solenoid key exchange unit, and those keys go back here. And that key goes back there to enable the power to be turned on again. So the person inside the manufacturing area with the safety key is safe from inadvertent machine startup. So another person can take a safety key and go in. So there's two people safe inside the manufacturing area. So this person is doing their work. So now, 
this person returns say now we just close the door take this key back we put close to it now we can take the green key reverse the sys the sequence so we can put it put it back here again now these two keys are grabbable so if i remove this right put it down here we can't take these keys off until this key comes back so put it back in take the key for the pneumatic power unit put it back in you can take the red key put it back in now we can turn on the power <laughs>